the best attribute that a midfielder can have is to look forward. How are you going to accomplish that? You know, and this is where the task of the coach comes, you know, to teaching them how to put their posture, how to look two, three, four, five times. I think he always told me that the best top, top players uh, were looking before they received the ball about 15, 20 times. We're going to talk about my evolution on my Arsenal days from when I started to the Champions League uh, run that we had and also my uh, latest uh, years at the club. My starts uh, with uh, Arsenal at the beginning, I started playing in a double pivot because obviously the team was playing 4-2, 4 2 3-1, 4-4-1-1 because Dennis Bergkamp was the second striker at that time and you know he's not a the typical number nine is a more of a number 10 that like to play in between the pockets. So sometimes this was becoming like this with Thierry Henry, uh, Robert Pierce coming inside, Lundberg giving the width a little bit. And then here there was Patrick Vieira and Gilberto Silva. So every time I started, you know, to play when I was 16 years old, I was playing here on the right. And uh, either Edu was playing with me uh, on the left in the first uh, couple of games in the um, Carling Cup and then I played another game with Patrick Vieira so he adapted himself, he normally played on the right but uh, he played on the left for me to allow me you know, to, to play a little bit more on the right and it was you know, a typical 4-4-2 uh, let's say English at the time with a lot of ball possession because Arsene you know, liked to play football in a, in a different way and uh, my role was just to be in the middle of the pitch, not go on the side, not go too high, just stay there, control the tempo of the game, be always available and give options, you know, with the ball to, to create chances and to feed, you know, the likes of Thierry Henry and uh, play contra-attacks, trying to find Dennis Bergkamp into the pockets in this zone. Because I always like to play, you know, these type of balls through the through the middle, uh, because then we were always very, very vertical and uh, Thierry Henry always attacked the spaces really, really well. After when we started developing the team and maybe Dennis Bergkamp was not playing too much, uh, around 2005, already in the final of the FA Cup in 2005, we already changed a little bit. We played um, Gilberto Silva, Patrick and myself. So it was more of a 4-3-3. We were playing against a very, very strong United side. And uh, I think he wanted to protect the middle. It was one of the first times that he, he tried this formation. And then obviously Patrick left the club after that final. And um, it's the, for the first time that I start to understand that Arsene wants to start building the team in a different way and he was starting to use what we just spoke about, 4-3-3. Um, with another type of qualities for the players, Dennis Bergkamp was not playing anymore, Patrick Vieira was not there, so Thierry was more of the lone striker, Freddy Lundberg was still playing, he was giving us the width up and down. Then Robert Pierce was still here, who was coming inside, always between the pockets. Every time we were going a bit higher, that was a little bit the formation that we used to have. And Arsene liked to give width a lot with the fullbacks. So here there would be Ashley Cole, that he could be always going up and down. Here there will be Lauren or Ebue at the end, because Lundberg liked to make always this type of run at side inside, so sometimes he was like this and attacking the spaces. And uh, this basically was the, the new role for, for myself in this team. He was giving me a little bit more freedom to go and attack, but mostly, you know, I was the one that was giving a little bit more control and tempo into the game, while Gilberto was the one that was um, fixing the, the, the back line. Arsene started to find uh, his team and there was a, a little sometimes problems, you know, because uh, we had a few injuries. I think Sol Campbell was uh, injured, so Senderos stepped in. Then we had uh, Ashley Cole injured as well, so Flamini, a midfielder, started to play on the left back. 
and uh, Arsene changed a little bit the positions of the players and the profile, let's say, not so much the positions. And he started to play Jose Antonio Reyes very, very wide, which normally was Pires coming inside and Ljungberg staying out wide. He kind of switched that. He made Jose Antonio to stay wide because then Flamini didn't have to have so many overlaps as Ashley called it. And then um, Freddy Ljungberg, who was normally out wide, we changed the profile of the player with Alexander Lepp, who was a really, really good technical player that could hold the ball, could turn right and left. He's definitely one of the players that I understood myself so much, you know, inside of the, of the pitch. And then you had here Ebue, that was giving the width that Ashley Cole was giving in the, in the previous years. And then he put Freddy Ljungberg, because maybe he didn't have the legs anymore to go up and down on the wing. He put him here just off Thierry. It was a 4-3-3 defensively, but and then offensively I was more the creator. He was the one that was, you know, getting more into the box together with Thierry. And me and, and Gilberto were always covering when um, we were attacking, you know, to be always uh, in uh, rest defense. And uh, after that, I think we created a lot of problems because a lot of teams like Juventus, like Real Madrid, were playing as like in a 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1. And we always try to overload, you know, the midfield with um, Alex Lepp coming inside, myself, Freddy and, uh, and Gilberto, who was a very experienced player. And, you know, for a young player like me, was always giving so much uh, talking, so much information that uh, it helped me so much as a young player. And then obviously, uh, Jose Antonio had the ability, the technical ability to come inside, to go outside. He was a, an amazing player that was giving us so much. And I think with, with this overlap in midfield, plus Thierry, who was stretching defenders, that's the beauty about playing that system that uh, Arsene found, because we're overloading the midfield with a lot of quality, but at the same time Thierry, because he was so powerful going behind, the, the defenders were so scared that they were never, if Thierry was coming here, they would rather let him come and take the ball than attacking because they know that straight away if Gilberto or myself or Alex Lepp have the ball, even if they tucked in, we always find Thierry um, on the space and he was really in, at his best when he was doing that. So I think teams started to respect us a lot. They were, I think, some of them a bit fearful of uh, how we were playing. And I think this was some of the success, the brilliant success of, the, um, of that team in the Champions League run. So basically, once Arsene decided to make like a, a new team and uh, Patrick Dennis Bergkamp, Thierry Henry, Freddy Ljungberg, all of these players, they, they decided to leave the club. Obviously, a uh, new profile of players came in and um, we were exchanging positions sometimes. We were very, very fluent and very, very mobile as well. Sometimes we started like this, playing with two wingers like Rosicki and Alexander Lepp, that they are not really wingers, they are midfielders, number 10s, that they like to play inside. And uh, we had Van Persie as a number 10, who is a midfielder striker, so we had a really nice balance. I was playing here as a more the offensive double pivot, then Flamini was the one that was staying more, you know, covering. He had this, you know, power in him and, and this intelligence to, to, to run around the pitch. So I think these players were combining really well because the way I like to play football is with a lot of combinations, short passing, a lot of mobility, and I think Rosicky, very intelligent, uh, Alex, very intelligent, Robin, very intelligent, were combining with each other really well. And I think uh, this helped a lot. Then we had a really powerful striker with Adebayor that, you know, when we decided to stay deep all together, a bit more as a team, more defensive, he was the one that was giving us, you know, this solution to go on transition, holding the ball and stretching teams off. But I think if I have to say, in which team I felt that we played the best football out of my eight years at Arsenal. I'm not talking about now being competitive or anything. I think this team, in terms of quality and ability, is probably um, the one that I enjoyed uh, most, most with. Obviously, this was the, the biggest difference, you know, between this uh, Champions League um, team with more the, the, the most experienced older players 
than the new generation that came later. I dropped a little bit more, uh, providing uh, a little bit more cover to the defense, but at the same time having this, this freedom to move wherever you know, I could be dangerous. And then sometimes Arsen used to switch because Rosicki used to be injured sometimes. So he used to play me more as a number 10. And then maybe he could just bring Abu Dhabi, who's a little bit more physical into the double pivot and he could give me the, the freedom to play as a number 10. That is probably in the last three, four years where I played my best football uh, at Arsenal because, uh, you know, with Adebayor or, or either Robin Van Persie or whoever, whoever was playing here, we had a really good understanding. And um, I think this position as a number 10 where I could uh, find, you know, when we were defending, let's say we were playing on a 4-4-1-1, four, four, one, one. we were always um, in transitions, I was always staying myself like in the middle position. So let's say we're all defending, defending, defending into one side and me, when this guy has the ball, I will just stay here in no man's land. And that was really, you know, good from Arsene because he always felt that when we had recovered the ball, we were always very good on the first pass forward. And I was always in this position in between nobody where we can have the transition and attack forward and then Adebayor and Van Persie were very very intelligent making these small runs uh, around the box and we scored so many goals by just me being in these little pockets like pretending I'm not defending you know but always finding the ball very very quickly uh, between the lines to attack fast. I think when I think of Arsene Wenger what comes to my mind is always the training sessions that we used to do. We're always reflecting of what would, was going to happen on the pitch. He had a really clear idea of how he, he wants to play. And most of the teams used to play against us 4-4-2. They used to pressure us. And the most important thing for him is, let's say, the ball is here with the fullback. He wants always the posture of your body, if I'm playing here, has to be me not coming too close to attract the defender. He always wanted me to get away, to give this guy space and to always give these triangles where you can be available for the ball. He will always tell you that this posture about you opening up your body and receiving and uh, you can play forward because he was obsessed with playing forward from midfield, you know, and obviously if this guy is closing himself up or he has a bad posture looking back at the goal, he will never be able to look forward. Not with one touch or even with one touch, depending what, what this guy will do. If this guy will press you, then you know that you will have one touch to play between the life to, to Alexander Lepp or to Robin Van Persie or you can give it back and then he will play, that depends. If he stays here, then you will be here free to open up and then is where you will have the other side, you will have Jose Antonio Reyes, so you can play him a long ball. You will have Adebayor who was really crazy on transitions, Thierry and Rio, we already spoke about it, of finding this little you know, place between the lines that Arsene was obsessed about. He really liked to play short, 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 a little bit with like what Brighton does nowadays, you know, to attract the pressure and then to play long and attack the space. And I think this was something that made me realize, because he's, he always say, and when I have to coach kids now, I'm trying to say the, the, the best attribute that a midfielder can have is to look forward. How are you going to accomplish that? You know, and this is where the task of the coach comes, you know, to teaching them how to put their posture, how to look two, three, four, five times. I think he always told me that the best top, top players uh, were looking before they received the ball about 15, 20 times because he was so obsessed that he studied always the top, top players, how many times they look. And I think he came out with this, uh, with this number that uh, he felt it was needed. You know, if you want to be a really, really top player, top midfield player. And he worked on me a lot individually, collectively. And that's why I, I always, uh, I'm always so obsessed in looking forward because I feel that, you know, you need to attack here. And if you are here, the most important is to look here, not to look here. So that's what I learned the most from, from Arsene, is definitely this.